check this out guys i've been waiting on this for so long we've been needing this so so bad and uh, we have ourselves a new laptop i've been running off of a 15 year old uh, pretty rough machine to deal with and we've been having a really really hard time dealing with the uh, editing and uh, i'm i'm pretty happy about this i think it's gonna be cool when we finally got a new machine to help us out here um, hopefully this will solve a lot of the problems we've been having here lately with YouTube and uh, editing our videos. So we're going to get this bad boy out here and start this thing up and uh, we're going to get into the episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in and uh, staying up to date with all of our progress on this bad boy right here. Uh, I get a lot of people asking they want more footage of the motor and stuff so we'll try to give you guys some more shots of that thing here coming up soon but uh we've got a lot of cool stuff going and let's get into the episode okay guys here we are we now have jesse's new gas tank uh, it's finally came in he went ahead and uh, painted this bad boy and then put some undercoat on it so it's ready to install and uh, first things first we went ahead and uh, put some PB blaster on the bolts and we're about to unhook the fuel line from it but uh, right here are the bolts and it's just held in with these two straps right here uh, these straps right here and uh, once the fuel lines unhooked we'll unhook these bolts we'll use a jack stand to hold up the gas tank and once those straps are off we'll slowly Take it down and take it out of here and go from there. Damn. Damn, that is a long bolt. Right? Yeah, hand me that bolt and I'll go clean it up so we go to put it back in. Yep, one bolt down. Okay, guys, while he's underneath there working on some other bolts, what I'm doing is I'm taking them over here and just cleaning them up with a brush and uh, just getting all the rest off of them. And then I've oiled them down with WD 40 just to help it when we go do the, the, the install when we go to put it back together. But uh, currently, what he's doing there's a flex hose that goes from the hard line over here there you can see the hard line and there's a flex hose right over there by that spring and right now those hoses are a little bit dry rod so he's just kind of soaking them with some WD-40 so we can kind of get them to come off there a little bit easier instead of being so hard to deal with but we gotta get those off first because it's a hard line all the way to the tank until we get the tank down and see what's going on. But we're gonna keep on a rocking here. Okay guys, we now have the hose off of it. Let's see if you guys can see them up in there. I don't know if I can get to it. Yeah, right there. Got the hoses off and the uh, hard lines are just hanging and we are ready to take the last strap off of it. And uh, that's that strap right there. Take it off and uh, just drop the tank on down there. All right, guys, here we go. We're about to let this bad boy down. Here's the tank. The straps are hanging. I'm just going to slowly ease this thing down with the jack here. And Jesse's going to hold on to it with his hands as we go down here. All right, so here we go. Let's see how it does. Just go ahead and kind of steady it. Jesse, with your hand. And I'm going to slowly let it down, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And when it comes down the floor, just kind of let it go, but just hold on to it. All right, hold up. So go and hook these wires real quick. We'll clear it up here. All right. 
Let's hook these, I'm gonna unhook these wires real quick, Jesse. Okay. Okay guys, there we go. So we got it out there. Um, there's our sending unit right there. Uh, there's our old tank. And there's our new one, so we'll be, you'll have one heck of a nice tank on it. <laughs> but we got it out there. Jesse, my man, we got your tank out. Yeah, finally got sore tooth out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. We'll get the rest of the way here. Uh, now what we're gonna do, we gotta take this uh, fill neck out, and it's one of these press-in deals, and I dread working on this, because we got to transfer this thing over onto that, and I really dread doing that. I haven't done one quite like this yet, so. Well, guys, Houston, this is we have a problem. Yep. We right, come up yeah. against a serious, serious problem here. The tank and stuff is right size. It's gonna fit, that's not the problem. The problem is this filler neck. Evidently, um, these things are not pressed on from a factory. These things are welded on, or at least this one is. Um, so we've come against a major problem. We don't have a filler neck for that one. And we got to looking at it. We don't like this pressed in deal that's on this car. I've, we're very uncomfortable with this. We're worried about it giving us problems down the road. And um, the way these things pressed in, I don't, I, we're gonna have problems. So what we're gonna do is we've got to neutralize this tank cause we're gonna have to rob this one and put it on that bad boy. And the game plan is this, neutralize the tank, take this out of here, take the unit out of it, get the rest of the gas out, Fill it full of water so I don't have to worry about it catching on fire. Take it outside. Um, we're going to cut this off. Okay. And then we're going to split it. Take this half. Weld it onto there. Brand new tank. Never had gas in it. And I'll weld on that. That don't bug me. But I will not weld on something that's got gas in it or had gas in it. I'm not playing with that. But we can save this. And we'll just put it on there. And what we'll do is... Where I said I'm going to split this, we'll treat it like how 60 gas tanks are, like for like my Tempest. And what they've done is on my car, there's a rubber hose, hose clamp here, hose clamp here, and that's what connects the filler neck to the tank. So basically, we're welding a nipple onto there. We'll use hose clamps to connect the original filler neck to that. This was supposed to be a pretty simple. Uh, <laughs> video here just a simple gas tank install but we've got one heck of a project here on our hands here so uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this off and uh, take it outside fill it full of water wash it out and keep it full of water and then I'm going to cut this off outside so we don't have to worry about uh, this thing catching on fire on me and again neutralizing the tank first before we do any sparks and um, we do not want a fire hazard at all so Let's get after it and uh, let's uh, let's put some hours into this. Okay, guys. So to get this off, all you have to do is there's like a tab on here, and you just take a screwdriver and you hit it with a hammer right here, and just knocks right off. And uh, just twist on around through there, and uh, we'll knock this thing off. Twist it across here and uh, pull it out of there and then start filling it up full of water and wash it out and then keep it full of water and then cut that thing off there and we'll be in good shape here. Okay guys, so we just twisted this ring on around through here and now the ring's gonna come off, hopefully. Yeah. All right, and then we'll take it outside. Uh, this ring just comes off pretty easy here. And uh, take this thing on out there and uh, get this thing drained out send water through it and start working on it all right guys here we go we got it outside pull the sand unit out of it here see how bad a shape it's in. it actually doesn't look too bad oh not bad all the socks even in good shape too not bad bad at all. So there we go. And uh, if you guys are wondering that uh, foam looking piece, the brown piece, that's the level. I'll let you know. 
how full it is and then that black thing has the socks just pretty much like a filter to keep trash out it's actually in good shape surprisingly most of the time broke apart there's a bunch of junk on it but we'll leave this piece outside just gonna set it over here and let it air out this piece in here oh it does have a lot of trash down in there i don't know if you guys can see it or not but i'm gonna empty this out fill it full of water and uh go from there and let this thing air out a little bit what we got going on um yesterday there we aired out the tank filled it down with water neutralized it and i uh, got it neutralized enough so we can cut this off here and uh, so now what we're going to do is we'll weld this on here so now we've got a nipple to work with and what we'll do is we'll put a hose over this and connect it with the filler neck with two hose clamps hose clamp here and hose clamp on the filler neck and we're done again this is a new tank it's never had any fuel in it i'm cool with welding on it but if it was a used tank i wouldn't even touch it but that's just me so we're gonna get after it weld this up and uh, we'll rock and roll here Okay guys, here we go. So uh, I went ahead and uh, welded this up as you guys saw and then I uh, seam sealed this thing so I don't have to worry about it ever leaking or anything since I did have to weld it up just to be safe there. And uh, so that's ready. And uh, now we're getting ready to put the um, old sending unit back in. It, it worked fine, we can reuse it, no problem. And uh, we got our new O-ring in there. We're about to put it in. We'll show that to the ends. And, uh, just so you guys can see it. Basically, long story short, so there you go, right there. So that's what'll end up happening. And there's the filler neck, simple setup. That's like how the old cars used to be, and uh, it works fine. So that's what we're gonna do. Roll with it, and uh, keep on rocking here. All right. Okay, guys, so what we're doing is we're putting, there's our new uh, lid for it, old sand unit. It's still in good shape down in there. And uh, you just kind of get a hold of one of these tabs, take a screwdriver and hammer, and you just pretty much just tap it all around through there, and it seals up against that O-ring. Go all the way, boom, just like that. Get all corners, boom, just like that. We're done. It's in there. So now there's our ground strap. We'll hook it up. And then uh, there's for our, uh, our fuel gauge. It'll be in good shape, guys. All right, that's good. Okay, guys, we're in here with my, my neighbor here, and he needed to weld up his diff, and he asked if he could borrow my welder, and came in here and rock and rolled, and uh, man, we're excited to see what you got going to happen here with this thing. So tell us about what this thing's going in. Uh, it's going into a 93 Nissan hard body. Uh, we're just welding up the rear so we can have a little bit of fun as we're uh, getting into our LS swap. Cool, man. Well, we're super excited about seeing that. And uh, when you get that thing running, you'll have to let me come down and do some filming on that bad boy. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll be having some fun here shortly. All right, cool deal, man. Well, super glad to help you out here and uh, hope you have a great evening, buddy. Really appreciate the help, man. Yeah, man. No problem, man. Thank you. I put the new tank in it and uh, we're going to set it on top of that wood block under there, jack it up. That way it'll help hold it up there for Jesse so he can put the straps around it and tighten this thing down. This thing will be a little bit. Um, of a beast to get in here. It's definitely nice when you got two people helping you. So uh, we'll rock and roll here.
Well guys, we have hooked the filler neck up. Jesse's put some gas in it and no drips, everything's in good shape. We got this thing ready to roll, brother. Getting some push water in now, boys. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> we are ready to rock and roll here. And uh, we're super excited that this thing worked out good and was able to get this gas tank install in. And uh, it definitely got more complicated than we ever thought it would, but <laughs> these things happen. We got it knocked out. Uh, we hope you guys have enjoyed. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys again. Take care of the solid bridge for us.